All right, hello everyone, and welcome to King's Road, a game that just came out in the App Store today, and I decided to check it out. I've been playing a whole lot of Divinity Original Sin, for those of you that have, uh, that know what that is. It's a classic, sort of old-school RPG on the computer, and I've been looking for something similar to it to play on the mobile platforms. And, uh, I just picked this- I have not opened this yet. You guys are going to see my first impressions of the game, my first playthrough. It was featured on the front. Tap on the bandit to attack him. This is- <laughs> So far, this seems like something I would very much enjoy. Again, it is free to play. If you like what you see here, go ahead and give it a download. Give it a try for yourself. I'm about to head over to a Nadia Mogul. If you can help us, please hurry. I, I don't know why she's that old. Do you have a niche? Do you have problems with your hip? iCloud password. No. Okay, hopefully I remember to edit that out. Anyway, so. My aide just asked for my iCloud password. I'm going to use auto attack to kill this bandit. The game practically plays itself. I'm really, I'm actually very much enjoying this. I like the backgrounds a lot, all the, all the pre-rendered looking things. Deadwood bandits, these things look more like monsters to me. I don't know if I'm just like looking too far away, but they look very much monstrous. They killed my husband. Oh wow, that is actually very, very grim. I am so sorry to hear that. Oh yeah, these, these are definitely not human. But my sword doesn't discriminate. I'm gonna kill you all equally. Jeez, is that a dead horse? Okay, for a awfully bright looking game, it's awfully dreary so far. Look at that two damage, that was some of that nonsense. I heard of that, that was some of that bullshiz. Much obliged, let's check out, didn't finish that one. And we are back at town. Save the town! <laughs> hey, we did it! They love us, the people love us. Father Byron, welcome to our humble village. Everyone fled with the Deadwood Bandits attacked. I'm Father Byron. Is that me? And I am Grisaholm. Please see see me to learn the ways of the night archer or wizard. Oh, cool. Archer, lay waste to your enemies with elemental archery, crush your enemies with technique and brute force, or destroy your enemies with powerful magic and spells. See, I have been taking to the strength builds lately, whether that be in Dungeon Hunter 5, even in Divinity Original Sin, I'm going for that. Though, now I think I might want to do a ranger. I'm, uh... Staying away from people might be pretty cool, but this seems like the kind of game where I want to just be able to do a whole bunch of damage and uh, take a lot of it, too. So I think I'm going to be a knight. You've earned a skill point tap here to open the side. Skills. Now, what is this? Maim. Holy crap. These names, dude. A brutal attack that deals 200% attack damage and has 75% chance to knock the enemy to the ground. The value. I currently have my computer precariously held up by an ice pack because it is hotter than Satan's girlfriend outside. It is like, because my computer got so hot that the poor thing turned off on its own. So I figured an ice pack was in order. What's Father Byron got to say? I actually haven't read either of these. If you find, I'm assuming, considering it's laid out everything right in front of me, why would this be any different? Talk to Father Travel to the next level. What else is around here? Yeah, I'm really digging the, the pre-render background, actually. This is really nice. Can I walk through this board? I actually kind of like that. It makes travel around here pretty quick. Tap here to select the newest level. I'll play it on normal. Seems like a lot of games are going this way. King's Road might have even taken this from Dungeon Hunter 5, games of the like. Sir Caleb! Oh, I know a Caleb. <laughs> Lorian has been captured by Dirk Deadwood. He's one of the three brothers that lead the Deadwood Bandits, follow the path and save our merchant. Oh, dude, that's awesome. So that means once I complete this quest, I'll be able to buy stuff. Deadwood Root, hello. I would I would really like this game a lot if it turns out to have uh, some sort of like randomly or procedurally generated gameplay to it. Looks like I just got something new. Peasant's Tunic. Oh, look at me. I look absolutely plebish. This is great. What is that? Oh, it's a wolf. Now, I'm assuming... Let's find out if mana regenerates or not. Hopefully it does. I can't actually tell if that's... Oh, yeah, it's regenerating. I'm seeing it flash. I just got done playing some Hearthstone as well. I wanted to record another episode, but unfortunately, my computer overheated and it kind of died on me, so... It's... it's I'm telling you, it's really hot outside. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to save that for the rest of the day, and I'm just going to... Up Oh, hey, let's actually get another skill. And I'm just going to have to continue doing that later. Cleave. Uh, any passives to choose from? Now let's just, we'll just keep doing maim then. That was a pretty big boost. I think I just got it 
if I read that right, I think I just, oh no, oh no, 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 no. What is this ambush? I think I just got like a 16% damage boost on that and it was already a 200%. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Nice rain of arrows, Dirk. Oh no, get out of the way! Get out of the way, please! Oh man, I'm knocked prone when he does that. And level. Hold on one second, actually. Let's see. I knew it. I just got a shield. This one's way better. Let's do that. And by way, I mean two. And that's pretty good too. All right, let's let's uh, let's end the level since we got the maiden. Fifty gold. Nice. On our way to map mastery, I could actually see myself playing quite a bit of this game. So far, I'm having a good time with it. People were comparing it to World of Warcraft and and sorts, but on the iPhone, I'm I was not aware it was a multi uh, massively multiplayer game. I actually don't know. I sell many of those. Sheriff. No, don't share that with my friends. Thank you for rescuing me from that monster. I'm Lorian, and I keep the market stocked. Lorian sells all manner of food and restore health to restore health lost in combat among many other items I would love to oh it's that simple food and ale tap here to buy the stack of turnips oh the breakfast of champions a stack of turnips and a flask of ale that be the breakfast of champions <laughs> to my hot bar oh that's nice I'm glad that they have a hot bar now, where, what can I, how about selling things? The Deadwood will not be happy to learn that one of their leaders has fallen. I fear retribution will surely follow unless we can take the fight to them. If our hero can take out the leaders, maybe we stand a chance. I agree. I accept this challenge. I accept this challenge as long as it will not take longer than three minutes because I very much need to go to work. <laughs> Meta. Okay, we'll just take this on for right now and then after that I think that'll be good for the first episode. I'm actually not too sure if this is going to become a series yet or if I'm just going to... Rec I figured it would just be kind of cool to show you guys. This might even just be considered a first encounters. I'm going to try to revive that series a little bit. Bring about... I might come out with uh, episodes just for the new App Store updates that happen on Thursdays. New dungeon crawlers and things like that. Gosh dang it, I love dungeon crawlers so much. I want to play some Divinity. I just... Technically, I'm on spring break right now. I just, uh, that's a, that's a new thing that just happened today. I, I got, my last class took 20 minutes. It was awesome, as opposed to the usual hour and 15. He let us out very, very early. And then after that, went and, went and did some stuff, recorded a whole bunch of Hearthstone, and now here we are, killing, killing, killing these bandits and assigning skill points after we kill the thing that is going to kill us. What is this? Cleave? Three mana. Sweeping attack that deals 95% attack damage to all enemies around you. Sure, I'll do that for the sake of having it. I don't really, uh, I don't really want it, but I'll take it. I guess that is good for when I get surrounded. These levels are pretty much straight, sh uh, straight shots so far. I hope that changes. I'd eventually like to see some actual dungeons, you know, with different winding paths and things like that, but... Marcus, you guys have awfully same, awfully similar names to humans. All of them. Can I knock this guy prone, please? Is that? Come on, come on! Oh yeah, we're winning. No, we're winning. I don't need to use food. I just bought that food. Please, you kidding me? After I bought that food, you expect me to use it when I was beating him in the race? I'm gonna end that level. Excuse me. Look at all those gems! I'm assuming we're gonna learn what we can use gems for eventually. Reward! Ah, the quest is complete! Open the side panel tap here to view your daily rewards. I will gladly collect all this. Man, they are generously giving me so, giving me so many gems here. Alright guys, thank you so much for throwing so many gems in my face. I appreciate it. Alright everybody, thank you so much for watching this first episode of King's Road. Let me know what you think, let me know if you've downloaded the game and you tried it yourself and you have thoughts of your own. If you'd like to see more, you can also let me know in the comments section below. Uh, may or may not return as a series, but I just wanted to give it a little first look preview. Alright guys, have a great day. Goodbye.